and welcome along for our weekly pleasant Sunday morning and this week a special. The two outstanding teams in the VFL thus far this season, Hawthorne and Essendon meeting at Prince's Park, their second encounter since that amazing grand final last year. But that's our second match for replay. First up we go to the Western Oval for an equally important shootout between Footscray and Geelong. Perhaps the best description of the two clubs from out west in 1984 is that they've just been hanging in there. Geelong got away to a good start, then slumped, but in the last couple of weeks had staged a very impressive fight back with victories over Hawthorne and Richmond to be right back in the fight for the five, albeit just outside. Footscray, on the other hand, had been even less consistent, winning one, losing one, but always winning the game to just stay in contention for a place in the five. Well, this one they certainly needed because they were one game out and could finish up even further out of the five after round 12. Geelong also needed to win it, and Footscray had the better of the first half. In fact, at the half-time break led by 14 points, our action comes from the third quarter with commentators Drew Morford and Doug Hayward. And Footscray lead by 14 points. Geelong narrowed the margin by three points in the second quarter. Out of the middle by Hawkins. Bouncing ball at centre half forward. Burn a good gather. Puts it out in front of O'Keefe. An awkward one with a wet ball. O'Keefe almost crashed into by Burn. The umpire said he threw it. Free kick Footscray's way. Taken quickly by McKenna, but it's not his kick. And it'll have to come back to Neil Cordy, who's one of only four players who've come out with long sleeves in the second half. And playing his 100th game, Cordy, wonderful footballing family. And over the back is Bennett, booted out by Tui, underneath the Purser. Purser takes the mark, crashed to the wing with Bright. 15 metre penalty against Bright. And a long 15 metre is it? Look at it! Now that's not 35 or 40. And Purser kicks for goal, into the teeth of goal it goes, punched down. Oh, lovely interception that time by Bennett by Rod McPherson. Byrne looks for free kick for big leg and will take it. That's kicked to half-back flank. Du Perusel off the back, reading it well. Came on late in the second quarter. Well done to thread it through to Rod McPherson, who was a great player in the second term. Right to the goal square. Two on one Geelong's way. Comes to the front, Ray Byrne to make it three. Back to Malarkey for his first kick in the game. Now Dwight goes looking for Peak and Peak got two to one against him. It's going to beat them both. Gets a kick under pressure. That's his 18th for the match. Out wide past Yates. Good football this time by Sewell. Uh, keeps on going to Foster. Foster been an excellent player. And bad luck Foster. And the free kick goes to Peak. And Peak has had a pretty good match. Peak's kick over the centre. Oh, good mark to Adler. And a 15 metre penalty brings Adler out of the centre square. Or well, not quite. Jackson circling around back towards the goal square. It's a mighty kick by Adler. Jackson a chance. Off the hands it goes and done happy to see it go out. And G does kick the ball a long while. And done through the ball over the fence. In the hands of that person with the umbrella and the cigarette himself time to come back and pick up Jackson. Oops, down they both go. Well, quite a free kick there. Well, well, he might have been right, he might have been held, holding onto his arm, I guess it looked like it. And Jacko takes a free kick, he's kicked three. One, he hit the post. With a very good snap. His angle is 45 to 50 degrees, about 30 metres out. Nice high one. One behind. 43 points to 